I had a yellow fuzzy biker here with a blast from the past when I was a youngin. This was a hot rod bike. A friend of mine had one just like this, only uh, maybe not as nice as this one. So just a little bit more here, we'll read you the sign. 1969 Kawasaki H1 500 Mach 3, owned by Des Moines. It's actually known as the Widowmaker. It's still the crown from the Zoot Cobra. The bike was rebuilt by the legendary Tony, Tony, I can't say that word, who was a factory racer for Kawasaki in 69. He replicated his winning bike down to the engine porting and stinger exhaust. This was the last bike completed by Tony. Now just check this thing out. So the, the bike is relatively stock. Different carburetors, different ignition system, corded out and all that neat stuff. These beautiful stinger pipes on it. I just love this thing. A good friend of mine, Mark, you know who you are, had one of these. More like uh, with this kind of a tank, but I think his was more, this is a 69, I think Mark was on the 70s. But uh, check out those brakes, you know, dual leading shoe. Just a beautiful, beautiful thing in every single way. A friend of mine over there owns this thing. But it's just a, just a hot rod galore. If you grew up with these, and I kind of did, <laughs> this is a very exciting machine. Look how thin the forks are compared to today's standard. Uh, the bike had a power band from about right there to right there, and that's it. All the rest of the time it was kind of doggy. And, uh, you know, real, it, it really was a Widowmaker. It, would, it was explosive in the uh, power band. Once it hit power band, it would just explode, kind of dog its way up to there and then just go insane when it got there. Now here's another version, the 750 version. This one is set up uh, a lot more customized. Has a disc brake by now, 750. These are all aftermarket parts. Silencers on the end. But uh, this is more to my liking here because it's more original and it's also a 500. I think these were rated at uh, I want to say they're in the 70, 70 horsepower range, stock, and of course this one is built, let's see if we can get that guy's name, Tony Nico, Nicosia, Tony Nicosia, just a beautiful thing. The frames are considered uh, too light, so they flex a lot, of course look at the suspension on the front, you know, very thin tubes, steel wheels that were probably uh, set up by the factory so they get a lot of whack after a few hundred miles, few thousand miles, so they were... They were really something else. Isn't that just gorgeous? That, that to me is just, this is, I always talk about motorcycle art and this is right there. This is just it. This is the ultimate, look at that back there. The fuel lines, the clear fuel lines, the, this sort, the air cleaners, you and I air cleaners. Beautiful, beautiful looking motorcycle. Just every little bit of it. I am in love. <laughs> He took the blinkers off. He didn't like to look at the blinkers. I don't blame him. They were kind of bul bulky, chunky kind of things. Just a gorgeous machine. Just a gorgeous machine. Get out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo. Let's see if we can get the demons to come to life. You betcha.